to Lynn's Recipes. Tonight for dinner I'm going to make a cottage pie. This was a recipe that was requested by one of my viewers, Dylan, and I really didn't know what a cottage pie was. I did a little research and found out that cottage pie and shepherd's pie are the same thing. I am familiar with the shepherd's pie, and so this is what I'm making for dinner tonight, and I hope that you enjoy it, Dylan. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need for this pie will be listed in the information box below where you can find it on the website. The meat portion of the pie ingredients are ground beef, kitchen bouquet, and this is what it, this kitchen bouquet looks like if you're not familiar with it. Um, you can just find this in the regular grocery store. You're going to need water, Worcestershire sauce, chopped onions, canola or vegetable oil, all-purpose flour, dry thyme, and you're going to need a couple of bouillon cubes. You'll also need a casserole dish that you have sprayed with cooking spray. I'm going to put a potato layer on top of the ground beef. To make the mashed potatoes, you're going to need these ingredients. You'll need some red potatoes, some butter, salt, white ground pepper, nutmeg, heavy cream, and egg yolk, and to top it all off after we have the beef and the potatoes all done, we're going to sprinkle on some cheddar cheese. I'm going to put my oil in my pan and let it get a little bit hot and it's doing a little rippling and you can tell it's hot when it starts making little lines. And I'm going to add my onions. And we're going to saute these onions until they're soft and a little bit translucent. My onions are getting soft, so I'm going to add my ground beef. And we're going to break this up. And I'm going to cook this until it's done and no longer pink. The ground beef is ready, so now what I'm going to do is add in my flour. Stir that a little bit. I'm going to add in my thyme and my bouillon cubes. My Worcestershire and my kitchen bouquet. And two cups of water. I'm going to turn it up and bring it to a boil. My beef mixture is boiling, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat down and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. The beef part of this uh, shepherd's pie is done, so I wanted to put it in to the bottom of the casserole. So I'm using this spoon, and I'm just going to cover the whole entire bottom of the casserole with the beef. So now what I'm going to do is set this aside for just a minute and we're going to move on to our mashed potatoes. I've peeled and cubed my potatoes. I put them in a pot and covered them with water and now I'm going to bring them to a boil. Then I'm going to turn them down and let them simmer for about 20 minutes until they're tender. Okay, my potatoes are done. I've drained them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my potato masher and I'm just going to start mashing them. Okay, I'm going to add my butter, the salt and the pepper, the egg yolk, the heavy cream, and I'm going to grate a little nutmeg. Continue to mash. Okay, my mashed potatoes are done. So now, oops, 
we're going to spread these over the top of our ground beef mixture. If you want to do this a different way, you could put it in a piping bag and pipe it on. I'm just going to spread it. Okay, my potatoes are spread across the top of the beef, and now I'm going to take the cheddar cheese and sprinkle it on top. to 350 degrees and I'm going to put my shepherd's cottage pie in and I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes. My cottage shepherd's pie is done. It cooked for 30 minutes. This is what it looks like right out of the oven and now I'm going to serve some. This is cottage pie or shepherd's pie, whichever you prefer to call it, and I hope you enjoy it.